Hi guys, I'm back. <laughs> um, thank you to all of the lovely ladies that um, contacted me by email and through Facebook um, asking where I was. Um, I didn't think anyone would notice I was missing, to be honest. <laughs> but um, yeah, I've just been um, busy looking after my elderly father um, and grandkids and life and you know, I had vertigo for a week as well. Um, that was pretty bad. And that's that's the worst vertigo. You can't sit up. You can't sit down. You can't do anything. So anyway, um, I was just packing some little cards for my Etsy shop. And I thought I'd just um, turn the camera on and say hello. Because I haven't posted a video in... Gee maybe two or three weeks i don't know to be honest apart from two videos which i had pre-record uh, <laughs> apart from which i had pre-recorded um and that was wendy mason's um upcycle challenge and some horses that i had um purchased for krista from second chance creations um so those videos were done and i just uploaded them once they opened their package but, um, so I, yeah, I haven't really had any time for crafting. I've put a few odds and pods in my little Etsy shop because it was quite empty. It still is quite empty, but, um, yeah. Oh, let me show you these. Look what I found at Reverse Garbage. A whole bunch of Australian, um, native bird cards. So they're blank on the back. So, um... I wish they were postcards, you know, with the postcard thing, but um, they're blank on the back, but that's okay. They're still really pretty. Look at this. Kookaburras. James, um, I know you love kookaburras so much. Where I used to work, um, when I had a real job, <laughs> um, I worked over near Sydney Olympic Stadium, and um, I'd walk through, there's some parkland around the aquatic centre there, and there's kookaburras everywhere and there was one little kookaburra who when he saw me coming he would always fly down and land on the gate of the aquatic center because I would bring him meat scraps from home and I'd hand feed him every day and um, he was so beautiful um, yeah cheeky little bugger sometimes we'd go sit and have like maccas or something in the park and one time he actually swooped down and um, tried to grab my burger <laughs> wasn't expecting it he just flew and like grabbed it and I was like wow ah! and dropped my burger um like onto the picnic bench but yeah he he was really beautiful it was like the highlight of my morning every morning he'd be there and yeah I probably spoiled him a little bit but I love kookaburras when I see kookaburras though um, I think of my friend James because I know James you love them and I also think of Hilly from Rider's Rain because she gets them in her backyard and films them. Um, I don't get them in my backyard here, but they are in our area and I do hear them in the distance, but they don't come into my backyard. I don't know if that's because my crow family and my magpies are always there, but um, aren't they gorgeous? So pretty. And the other one was this um i'm not sure what sort of birds these are but really pretty little blue birds and these make me think of jd because <laughs> i know she loves little blue birds i'm not sure what sort of blue birds but and then the other one was this this one was the most um look at the pile <laughs> And as soon as I saw them, I thought, nah, I have to grab all of these. They're so beautiful and they're so bright and colourful. So I've got more of these. But um, And when I see these, we do get these in our backyard. Um, these are the rainbow lorikeets. And I'm not sure if this guy's maybe a, some sort of rosella, but... Um, we get these guys in our backyard and this reminds me of Wendy Mason because um, 
think she showed a picture of one she oh she made some little bird feathers that's right she made these little bird feathers out of um yarn they were so awesome um i'll put the link to that video to act not to her channel but to that video down below um you've got to go watch it they turned out so beautiful and um really gorgeous i think she made three or four types from memory but they turned out so pretty but anyway so i found those little cards that reverse garbage and um yeah i was just packing them um some for my little Etsy shop. I thought I'd just put one of each in a little pack. I'm just I've got some brown paper bags. And I just stamped a bluebird on there. Because I was thinking whoever um whoever orders a packet, they can reuse this little paper bag in a journal. So I stamped them this way so that they can fold and reuse the bag. Um, that's the only bird stamp I've got, so I know it's not probably a proper bluebird. But anyway, so I was just packing these, and I thought I would um, just flick the camera on, and not that you want to see me packing. I know that's so boring, but I thought I would just check in with you while I've got some some free time to myself for once and just to let you know where I've been and thank thank those lovely ladies there were um six or seven of you I think that um contacted me and um yeah that really hurts my heart because <laughs> to be honest I didn't do a video saying sorry I won't be on much or or anything because I really didn't think anyone would notice Oh, look and I've got this bird washi tape oh I don't think you can see it's a little bird in a cage um, that I've just been sealing the packet with yeah most of the time when I put stuff in my Etsy shop I just like I'll have these little bundles in my what I call my stock room which is just my spare spare bedroom and um, when I get an order, I'll go grabbing. Um, but I, I thought I'm actually going to start preparing because packing orders, oh my gosh, packing orders takes up so much of my time, honestly. And um, I always like, oh, can I say it? I stuff around, like I really stuff around. I think, oh, this person, I know this person likes this or that. And then I will like custom try and customize their little freebie um that i always like to put with their order and so then i'm rummaging around my room and yet yeah, packing takes me a ridiculous amount of time so i thought i'm actually going to put these into little baggies now so that they're good to go when I need them so that I don't have to stuff around <laughs> this way I can just pop them in a plastic bag or wrap them in plastic with whatever whatever else was ordered and um, get them away quickly because yeah I think I spend more time packing little odds and pods because I've got a lot of little you know three and four dollar items in my shop And I spent, I think I spend more time packing those than I do creating stuff. So I think I need to organize my time a little better. So yeah, if um if I'm a subby to your channel, um yeah, sorry I haven't been watching a lot of YouTube. I've been popping into little lives here and there where I can. Um and trying to watch a few videos there there are a few channels that i watch every single one of their videos um and even those channels i'm a little behind now 
And sorry, JD, you're one of the channels. I love to watch every video of yours. Um, but yeah, I and I've watched every video since you opened your YouTube. Uh, your YouTube. Well, every video since I found your channel. But you were quite new then. You only had about 50 subbies, I think. And um, actually, I think we both did. Because <laughs> um, I think... I found you when I was quite new as well, and um, yeah, I did end up going back and watching the videos that I missed before I found the channel, and I would watch every video, but um, yeah, the past couple of weeks, actually, you know, kind of all of this year, um, I just haven't had time for anything so I'm trying to catch up on the channels that I really love like JD's um, Wendy Mason I, I think I've kept up to date with yours <laughs> and oh my two Pamela's I love Pamela from Gypsy Girl Crafts and um, Pam's Paper Place and I, I had watched all of their videos up to a certain point and um, yeah especially Gypsy Girl Crafts I think one of your I think your channel was one of the ones that I found when you were quite new as well so I was able to go back and watch all of your videos and then watch everyone since then but yes both Pamela is now quite behind actually I just watched one from Pam's Paper Place just now um, she had a haul video and she found a beautiful bird book. <laughs> it was just funny that I was packing up bird stuff. But yeah, sorry ladies, I would love to catch up, but um Yeah, I just haven't had time to do anything. Oh, I did. Oh, I should do a haul video actually because I did manage to go to reverse garbage yesterday. Um, I didn't even know, but they had a sale on, and Kat from um, the Junk Journal Down Under Facebook group <laughs> she sent me a link saying, Oh, there's a sale on, and I was like, Ah, I couldn't actually make it because I had something on in the morning, but. Um, that wasn't until I think around 10.30 so I was like ooh they open at 9 so I'm going to quickly do a ninja in and out really quick and um, go to their sale and oh my gosh I'm so glad I did. They had um, vintage linens, doilies and fabric and upholstery fabric and oh my gosh it was like I was in vintage heaven and I just kept looking at all of these gorgeous old fabric and I was thinking oh Angelina you would love <laughs> you would love that sale they had so many gorgeous old fabric pieces um big rolls of it as well and you could buy it by the meter but um yeah I didn't actually buy a lot of fabric I think I bought to one little bundle of odds and pods and just one little uh, piece which was only like a meter square or something because I have so much fabric I've been rearranging my craft room and um, because I bought some bookshelves and in order to <laughs> get those bookshelves in I had to like pull out almost everything apart from my desk which is on the other side of the room in order to get these this giant bookshelf in and um i took everything out and it's in the upstairs lounge area which is outside my craft room and oh my gosh i really don't know and i think my husband was really really surprised how i managed to fit so much in my little craft room and now I need to put it all back in <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know how I'll fit it. Even now I've, even though now I've got proper storage space, um, I don't know how I fit so much in there last time. So 
yeah so i unco uncovered a lot of goodies like these i bought these at reverse garbage not yesterday but a long time ago and i thought oh, okay i'm just gonna put some little cheap packs of three into my etsy and um, not all of them i'll put maybe 10 15 packs um and then the rest i might make some i don't know some well some will go in journals or i don't know i want to make something to go with the rest but yeah what was i saying oh the reverse garbage sale so i did end up um I did end up getting some tablecloths, you know, the crocheted ones that I love to chop, chop, chop into individual doilies. I'm just checking these as I go because some have marks on the back. Um, yeah, I got some vintage tablecloths that I can cut up. And yeah, those couple of pieces of fabric. Oh, and then I went into the book room. Ah, and I bought more books because, you know, I need more books. I've got so many books that I'll never use in a lifetime, but for some reason I keep buying more. See, I've got the problem. I'm a junk journaler. I love to make journals from old books. And being a recycler, I don't use pretty papers or digital kits or store-bought papers or anything. So they're all recycled. So... Books are my main source of paper and images and stuff like that because I don't print images. And um, so I have a lot of books. But to make it worse, I am an old book collector because I'm a big reader and I love old books. So in my bedroom, I've got... Sorry, I hope this crinkling isn't too loud for you. So in my bedroom, I've got a bookshelf just with um, old books. I do have an old bookshelf in my craft room, which is old books that are really um, beyond saving. You know, they're not like collector ones or anything. They're damaged or um, falling apart or something like that. Because really old books, I don't pull apart if they're in good nick. Because once they're gone, they're gone. And being an old book collector, yeah, I just can't pull them apart. But I'll pull them apart if they're already falling apart. Which a lot of them are, unfortunately. Some I will do minor repairs if it's a repair that won't be noticeable. And my daughter has a bunch of old books as well um, because she is also a book lover. So, yeah, I got some more books and, oh, I found some black and white photos, like original photos. And I'll pop those in my Etsy. Actually, one of them was a wedding photo. Someone's asked me to make up a wedding themed kit which I really need to do today. I was meant to put the video up yesterday, but I didn't get a chance. Um, so I was really happy when I found that old wedding photo that I'll also pop in the kit. But yeah, I was lucky. I, was, I got there quite early, so I kind of got first pick over the um, doilies and the linens and everything. I didn't buy too many doilies, just a few, because I have way too many doilies as it is. Like, way, way too many. And I need to get some into my shop to get rid of them, <laughs> because I'll never use them all. Um, I was thinking of, usually I put the doilies in, like, little packs. If they're the little mini ones, you know, the teeny ones... Um, that I cut up from the tablecloth. I usually put them in packs of 10. I mean, if they're larger ones, I usually put them in twos or threes, depending on how many matching ones I can find that go together. But I was thinking of maybe doing some, I don't know, giant bags. 
outfits. I don't know. What do you think of that? I don't know if anyone would be interested, but I might just put a couple of giant ones in my shop just to get rid of them. I wouldn't mind um i've been tossing up whether to do a live i know a few of you have asked me and um i don't know i i find it hard to work um whoops <laughs> i didn't realize the camera had cut off and i was talking to myself um yeah i was just saying i find it hard to work with someone watching like especially painting or something like that um even if darren like hubby is in the room i'll like <laughs> shoot him out if i start painting or doing something like that but um i did actually i did paint um a mixed media journal cover i did a while back i'll put the link to those videos um in the comments box below is part one part two part three because back then i didn't know how to join videos together but um because i knew someone was watching even though it was just a camera i know that's stupid but i knew people would be watching um yeah i i couldn't paint and i think actually that was my my worst um yeah i don't know i think that was the worst one i've done before although a lot of those june types of journals with metal bits and that stuck on the covers i used to do before my youtube channel so i suppose i really haven't shown you anything and then when i did i showed you my worst effort <laughs> but anyway um that's okay I, I like to show the good and the bad anyway um i found these paper doilies as well um they had two dollars on them which i'm guessing was the original shop price but yeah i picked them up i think they were like 50 cents each or something at reverse garbage but they only had two packs so i'm gonna coffee dye these today but anyway what i was saying is yeah um i might just do a test live with i don't know maybe just something boring like collaging or <laughs> some making some collage tags or something and um i'll see how it goes but if, look, if you are interested in a live, yeah, let me know in the comments box because, um, I don't know, my videos don't get a lot of views, so I, I don't know if anyone would be actually interested. Ooh, these are quite thin. Might have to, um, do ninja coffee dye, like, dunking out, because <laughs> they're very thin. But um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'd have enough people attend a live, to be honest. Although I suppose it doesn't matter, because it's for the few that did ask. Yeah, okay. I'm not going to worry about numbers. Um, there's a few people that did ask, so I might just do it for them. But I kind of actually don't even know how to do a live. I need to have a look into it. I don't know if it's difficult or not. Oh, and these as well. Um, look, Geo, look at what I found as well. Little elephant charms. They're still sealed in the packet. Aren't they gorgeous? I don't know if you can see. But they're so cute. I really want to um, find another little elephant box so I can make another little mini elephant journal. Actually, I'll put the link to that one down below as well because I know I've got a few new subbies. Oh, I just noticed this morning because I haven't really been keeping track. I've got 960 subbies. Oh my god, I'm almost at a thousand. I nearly had a heart attack when I saw it. Um, because I know I was stuck down in the 930s like forever. Because, um, I know if you don't post videos regularly, your channel doesn't seem to grow, and um. I, I guess because it's not being recommended on YouTube anywhere or anything. But, um, yeah, I was like, oh, my gosh, 960. Oh, and I've still got a doily giveaway to do. I know I bought some doilies from Tony Williams, Kitty's Craft Australia. And um, 
Jenny, I don't know how to pronounce it. Sorry, I don't know if it's Jeannie or Jenny from Danica uh, Crafting sent me some doilies all the way from Denmark that I was using for a giveaway. And I did say, um, gosh, over a month ago that I was doing a doily giveaway and then I um, just have been slack and not done it. Well, I haven't had time, but I should have squished in some time to do that if I said I was going to do it. But it is coming. I'll try and get it actually done um, today or tomorrow. Okay, well, I'll stop boring you. Um, whenever I coffee dye these, I always end up putting like four to get, like they're all stuck together. But these ones, you know, because they're hard to pull apart. Anyway, I'm boring you. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put these little birdie packs in my Etsy shop. How many did I make? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, exactly. I did 20 exactly. That was pretty good because I just plucked a whole bag of brown, plucked a whole bunch of brown paper bags out of um, the plastic bag at random. Anyway, so I'm going to put 20 into my shop. And yeah, go check out Wendy's um, video on her little bird feathers. They're so awesome. In fact, I should have made some to put with these as well. I'm, I still may, but I don't think I'll make them as um, beautiful as hers. Anyway, that's it. Um, thanks, guys, for your patience. I know I haven't done a lot of crafting this year. But um, hopefully I'm back into it and I'll get a video up soon. And thanks for watching. Bye.